ready. Breathe a sigh of relief when that one was over. Yeah, yeah you know, we, uh, we needed, we had to do, uh, you know, things to win the game. And uh, it comes down to one play. It's amazing. You play, uh, you know, 48, 47 minutes, and it comes down to eight seconds. And uh, we needed to make a stop, and we did. I thought uh, L.A., great effort of uh, contesting uh, Ellis' shot at the end. Rudy got a box out and uh, rebounded the ball. And, you know, uh, two things that we hadn't done a good job of all game long, uh, getting out to the shooters and rebounding the ball. And uh, we, did, we did that at the end. What can you say about that scoring night? I, I, we thought it was good ball movement throughout, uh, Jason, on, on, with uh, this group. I think we had 15 assists uh, at the half. And uh, the movement was good. We felt like uh, if we would make them defend uh, from side to side, we would get open looks. And the guys did that. Uh, good ball movement uh, leads to open shots and shots in rhythm. And uh, we got that tonight. Losing out Rudy is, in regards to being a playmaker, it seems like tough in games. He's been really making smart decisions with the ball. Well, he's doing a good job of uh, attacking. And when he gets to the paint, uh, there are times when he can get to the rim, uh, but he, he sees the floor very well. And he's finding guys. Uh, but the aggressive move to the basket sets up everything. And, you know, I've, I've often said that, uh, you know, Rudy's a guy that does need minutes because he likes to get into a flow. Uh, he doesn't like the pressure of having to come in and be a scorer. Uh, he needs time to get into a rhythm. He likes to play team basketball, which is what you want. Uh, but you know, with uh, uh, the short minutes at times, you don't get a chance to see that. So he's getting those minutes now. He's doing a good job. Who's the coach who hasn't been playing in minutes? Well, he's playing behind an all-star. All-star is <laughs> not playing right now. So. Do you have an injury report uh, for coming into Monday? I'll say injury. Don't, don't <laughs> say that. Uh, I will look at the guys tomorrow, and uh, Monday morning I'll get a, uh, you know, more information as far as how uh, all of our guys, Nick and uh, Camby and Joel, feel. It seems like one of those wins that could, you know, rally the team a little bit just because so many injuries, kind of everyone coming together, people who aren't usually in the game. Yeah. Well, you know, as I talked to the team uh, before the game, uh, with everything that has happened, you know, as far as the injuries, uh, there's a game to be played, and we need to win this game. Uh, you know, and uh, the guys that are on the floor, uh, you know, you got to do the things uh, that uh, the guys who are not here uh, would need to do, which is play team basketball, outwork this team, uh, play together, and uh, they did that. You know, defensively, I thought we did a nice job of trying to contain their penetration. We just didn't rebound the ball the first half. Uh, we did a better job second half of rebounding the ball. And then we got good ball movement on the offensive end of the floor. So they played as a team, uh, good connection there on both ends of the floor, and was able to, uh, to win this game. Nick, what, if anything, have you learned about the way this team plays without Brandon the last two games? Well, it's, it's just you're, this is a situation you're dealing with, and uh, what uh, is, is what do you expect? Uh, you know, guys getting opportunities playing together. You know, when guys are injured and uh, they're not uh, available, then that gives someone else an opportunity, and everybody has to uh, do their part. You know, it's not on one guy. Uh, it's on it's on everybody, and I think they've done that. Uh, you know, Rudy has stepped in, done a nice job. Uh, Patty has stepped in and played. Uh, you know, very well. And, uh, you know, we're not going to sit here and say we don't need Brandon Gordon. So, uh, you know, Brandon is a part of this team and a big part of this team. Uh, but these guys have stepped up when given the opportunity and done some good things. When Miller picked Monday at the end of the first half, do you remember? Yeah. Does that bring up any memories? Jared uh, Jack? Oh, no. But it was a. He, it was smart play on his part because we had a foul to give. And basically he was, whenever you have a foul to give as opposed to just fouling the guy, go for the steal. And he executed it perfectly. You know, if you don't get it, you foul him. Uh, and he was able to uh, get it surprised. He timed it perfectly. 